Hey everybody, one of Weezum here. Still September 20th, still launch day. It's just after the Cowboys game now, and uh, a couple of rounds of dodgeball. And it turns out it's really hot outside, so uh, my apologies if my voice starts to get out. That said, right here in front of us, we have the remnants of the Xbox One Dark Edition starter pack, as well as the store exclusives, and of course, uh, my extra shark shooter tariff. And that said, it is now time. We're going to unbox the Dark edition for the Nintendo Wii. Uh, that is of course Skylander Superchargers Racing. If you were unaware uh, what they have done this year, the 3DS and the Wii U, I'm not the Wii U, but the 3DS and the Wii are basically the same game from what I understand. I haven't played either one yet. I will very soon and can confirm this, but uh, basically your Wii U, PS3 and 4, Xbox 360 and 1, that's a standalone game. It's got the story mode you're used to. It's got the online co-op and online racing. The 3DS is specifically Skylanders Racing, and it apparently it'll have online interaction, of course, like you've seen last time with uh, Trap Team, uh, where you had Skystones and whatnot. The Wii does have it has zero online. That's important. People understand that. Uh, it's nothing against the game's capabilities. It's just the Wii is it's no longer supported. Uh, you can't throw in Mario Kart or Super Smash Brothers Brawl and play online because it's no longer available. So that's kind of where this falls in. So this is the type of deal if you've got friends that you play with, you know, in-house. Uh, if you travel with the game to friends' places, if you have multiple kids uh, that want to play together, if you play with your kids, this would work wonderfully. I have heard nothing on a single-player campaign. That is probably what I'll be doing. And uh, testing that out. I'd like to race with my nephew on here. We may throw some videos in there. Not exactly sure the uh, gameplay setup though, but that's what you need to know here. Totally different game than what you'd get for your Wii U, your PS, you know, PlayStation or Xboxes. Being the dark edition of the Wii Starter Pack, this is exclusive to Toys R Us. I've had a lot of people like, hey, where did you get that? I, you know, I don't, I can't find one. Target doesn't have it. Best Buy thinks I'm crazy. That's because the Dark Edition of the Wii Starter Pack is a Toys R Us exclusive. Obviously, that's where I sourced it. $99.99 is the price. They do have the only sale going right now, which is a pretty good one. Buy one, get one 40%. It was a little better last year, but uh, the BOGO 40. If you buy another Starter Pack, my advice would be to go dark, and uh, you'll maximize your savings that way, as opposed to, like, say, doing this and the 3DS. Now, if that's all you're going to play on, by all means, do it. But when you can take 40% off of $100 instead of 40% off of $65, uh, you come out better in the long run. So, what is the big deal? Why, why would anyone want to buy this for the Wii when you've got a Wii U or a next-gen console? Well, that's just your answer right there. It is Dark Bowser and the Dark Clown Cruiser, and they look fantastic. Uh, initial impressions, that is my favorite uh, Skylander for this game. So everyone that's seen it thinks it's awesome. I was showing it to my nephew and some other people earlier. But uh, again, here's the front cover. What is included? I guess we'll cover this on the back as well. Dark Spitfire, Dark Hot Streak, which you've seen. The Chaos Trophy, which is again very important and I don't think people realize that. And then Dark Bowser and the Dark Clown Cruiser. So, side of the box. Very difficult for me to get this in here for you. You have got the video game. You've got the Portal of Power. You have the collection poster. Again, as soon as you acquire your second Dark Starter Pack, you can essentially come in and you can frame both sides and you don't miss out on anything. Uh, there's the contents we covered. And right there in your hand on the portal in the game, it is that simple. Coming around to the other sidebar, we have got the advertisement for the Combo Pack, Dual Pack, whatever, I think Dual Pack is actually the official term. Although that says combo pack, but all the pegs say dual. Anyway, you can get a character with their vehicle in a buddy pack. Again, use your own uh, synonyms here. $24.99 is a pretty good deal. Of course, no one has them yet. I think we'll see our first shipment around the 1st or 2nd of October, so be on the lookout for those if you are trying to save a little money or just simply bundle up on your favorites. Uh, let's go ahead, since this is kind of new and different. Ready, set, race. Skylanders, start your engines. The infamous race promoter, Pandergast, has challenged to get... This is, like, really glary. The best racers in Skylands to come forward and test their driving skills 
in a head-to-head, -head, I feel like I'm side-scrolling for you, uh, no hold bar driving competition, a race across land, sea, and sky for the ultimate da -da 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 -da, prize, a mysterious token of immense power, kickstart your Skylander's adventure into da -da 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 -da, overdrive with Skylander Superchargers racing. My apologies there, but I kind of had to hold it there. It was glaring really bad, and I couldn't see it at all. Supercharge combo. When you match a Skylander Supercharger with their signature vehicle, note that this Clown Cruiser does not look like that. This is the Clown Cruiser Teacup SNES, kind of upgrade over the SNES Super Mario World, but this looks more like a Doom ship, and that's because Dark Bowser's piloting it. And that makes it supercharged. Now, I've got the question. If I were to throw down Dark Bowser into the regular Clown Cruiser, is that going to supercharge it, or does it not register? And uh, vice versa. And I intend to find out. So, uh, right here you have got the Clown Cruiser. You have got uh, the Clown Cruiser with Bowser. That's why the portal's a bit larger. And there's a random scene from in-game that looks like our first look at Dark Bowser. Right here. Portal of Power. Dark Spitfire, Dark Bowser, uh, Dark Hot Streak, Dark Clown Cruiser, and the Chaos Trophy, which again unlocks additional tracks and villains, which you can then unlock and race as. So, very cool stuff there. And right here, if you did not know, and one of the reasons I was worried about this is because not only do you have scalpers to contend with uh, that would just be trying to get this to sell on their own, uh, you've got your typical Skylanders factions, but then you've got the Amiibo people, people that maybe don't play Skylanders at all. That's because Bowser and Donkey Kong both work as Amiibo. So, uh, it's kind of a dual purpose, more bang for your buck type deal. And as much as I love the Bowser Amiibos, they're my two favorites uh, prior to recently. I can all explain that pretty soon. But, this is the ultimate Amiibo in my opinion. It's hands down, bar none, uh, my favorite. So, speaks very well there. Three types of vehicles, land, sea, and sky. And then right here, this is interesting because they do different characters than you see on the standard starter packs. Clown Cruiser with Hammer Slam Bowser, or in this case, Dark Hammer Slam Bowser, I guess. You got Turbocharged Donkey Kong and the Barrel Blaster, which you can only get in the Wii U starter pack. You've got Splat and the Splatter Splasher. You've got uh, Big Bubble Pop Fizz and the Soda Skimmer, which will have a Nitro version. And Lava Lance Eruptor and the Burn Cycle. And then, of course, Hot Streak with Spitfire. So, uh, a couple more things here. We've got an epic and expansive racing adventure. High octane combat racing. Use superchargers to modify the vehicles. Note how that kind of took on the look more of a bullet bill. And then right here, we've got fun, challenging racing events. I guess fun and challenging. And you can race with your friends. And what they mean by that, they don't mean play online. They're highlighting the split screen here, so that's how that is going to go down. That said, what I'm going to do to save a little bit of time, I'm going to go ahead and open this up off camera. It's very hard for me to fit this onto the uh, frame of the camera anyway, so I will do that. We'll come in, we'll take a look at the contents, and we will take it from there. All right, I'm doing this again. I did it in the Xbox One. I am a huge fan if we ever came up with the interior packaging on this thing. You can note, if I slide this up for you, you got a separate container for the characters and the vehicles. Uh, it's literally loose. It just kind of slides over this plastic tray. Underneath that, which we'll just go ahead and kind of... You can see what I mean here. It's got the holographic stuff in the back, so it looks pretty cool. We'll set that to the side. Here's your portal of power. It's a little difficult to get out, but not too bad. I like to come in. The pressure point seems to be right here, and you can pop it loose. Here's our game disc, so we'll take a look at that in a little bit. And that is really about it. Underneath this, we should have, I guess, a pack of battle cast cards. So uh, I'll go ahead and free everything from this point, and we will uh, be right back. All right, and there we have it. We've got everything freed. Again, the packaging is super slick in my opinion. I actually really like the artwork here on the uh, game case. On this one, what we've got is obviously a uh, standard Bowser, like a Wii or 3DS starter pack. Uh, you know, traditional color scheme, not dark, in other words, on the Clown Cruiser. We've got the Tomb Buggy with Bone Bash Roller Brawl, and then we've got Lava Lance Eruptor on the Burn Cycle. Coming around to the back, I uh, believe that's what we've already read, so we'll save that little different angle of the uh, front here. Featured characters. Note that uh, I guess the only control support is going to be like classic SSA, Wiimote plus Nunchuck. I'll test all that out pretty soon. 
Coming in, sadly, there's no instruction book. That I kind of had my hopes up that maybe there would have been something, but there's not. Just something with a little artwork or something. That said, the game disc itself mirrors the front cover art, so no surprises there, but it does, you have to admit, it looks pretty cool. So we got that covered. In addition to the game, we get the Dark Edition poster. Now, this should be the same, I'm guessing, as the Xbox One, but I wonder if this will actually have Bowser or Donkey Kong on it. I don't know if they're going to have different posters. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Uh, this is the exact same poster as you might have expected, but it, the four feature slots. Dark Spitfire, Dark Hot Street, Streak, Dark Sea Shadow, and Dark Super Shot Stealth Elf. It's the same exact concept. Astro Blast, Nightfall, etc. Supercharged combos down the middle, none to the side, but notably absent is Dark Hammer Slam Bowser and Dark Turbocharged Donkey Kong. They're not the feature characters at the top. Uh, they're not added in. Uh, this is just, this is almost like we have a PlayStation 3 uh, Dark Starter Pack or something. Backside, same thing, although it is still freaking awesome. Uh, that's kind of sad to me, really, because I thought that there would be, like, something special for them. Now, the crazy thing is going to be right here. Um, when we unboxed the Xbox One, we got two cards, Spitfire and Stealth Elf. This seems thicker, but I would hope that this would have Spitfire and Bowser. So, I don't know if Bowser and DK are part of Battlecast, or if there was no licensing for that, or what. Uh, we know this is Spitfire, <laughs> and I certainly hope that it's Bowser. Ser uh, it's Stealth Elf. So, I don't know, I, I mean, I bought a Dark Wii Starter Pack, and, and I did not get Stealth Elf, but I got her card, so, uh, that's, like I said, I don't know, maybe there's not the licensing in place, but, uh, it's kind of sad, uh, really, so, don't know how I feel about that just yet, uh, kind of bummed on the cards and the poster, actually, but... What I am not bummed about is what we got, and we'll start with the uh, least exciting, I guess, because we've already seen it. Here is Dark Spitfire, again, very nice looking character. My nephew is super excited about him, so that'll be fun. This, in my opinion, is the best looking hot streak. Now, the color combination for me just works beautifully, so uh, I really like the contrast with the blue, the black, and the silver. You should know that. Something I didn't note the first time, there's almost, it's it almost really does look like that's you know like a singed effect if you ever go out you know on like your tailpipes or something uh that's got like the realistic carbon soot effect so i don't know i assume that must have been intentional but that was actually uh, very very well done i didn't even catch that the first time mainly because i'm in a hurry uh the review copies didn't come in time and so ran out got this stuff this morning and then the cowboys played and uh it's a crazy day. But, uh, right here, this is important, and I don't think people have really caught on. As I hit on, what this does, it's kind of like the Chaos Trap, you know, that we had in Trap Team's Dark Edition. You know, you could trap Chaos in it, so you could play as Chaos. This is actually heavier than the trophy by a considerable margin. Again, this is not the standard Chaos Trap. This is the Dark Edition one, so that's why it's got the silver. It's not like a custom paint or something I did. What this does, though, think of it kind of like an expansion pack. Uh, that's why you probably bought, you know, like the uh, Sea Racing Action Pack with Deep Dive Gil Grunt and the Golden Queen Trophy. That unlocks new tracks and new villains, and then you progress your way up the ladder, and eventually you can battle and defeat the Golden Queen, which means you can race as her. This is the same thing with Chaos. Will this come in a standard fare, like $35 race action pack? Will this be available solo, like the Chaos Trap was? I don't know. Uh, if it is, I would venture to guess that it is not going to look like this. See how there's the silver once again on the Chaos Trophy? And that matches the Chaos Trap from Trap Team with the silver. It's like Raider Nation right here. Uh, back behind Frightful, I should have the standard Chaos Trap. And note that it is much smaller and it lacks the silver. So if this somehow does reach retail shelves as like a standard standalone item or part of a race action pack, it might be nondescript like this and lack the extra detail. Uh, or it may be a situation where it never comes to, you know, retail outside of the Dark Starter Pack. 
I honestly do not know why am I bringing this up. A, so you'll know what this does. It's not just like a little, you know, like, oh, hey, I got the Dark Starter Pack. This serves a purpose. <laughs> and uh, if the Dark Starter Packs get hard to come by, and that's the only way, or more than likely the best and most economical way to obtain it, you don't want to miss out when you have the chance. So that's why I always encourage people to buy the Dark Starter Pack if they're torn. But uh, that's what that is. Right here. This is sweet. This is Bowser's Clown Cruiser, but of course it is the Dark Clown Cruiser, and it might be the greatest thing that has been in my hand, probably since, what was that? Uh, I had a really nice old-fashioned malt a few months ago, but this is awesome. Uh, I am a huge Nintendo fan, uh, that's why my name is one of wisdom. A lot of people still haven't picked up on that, but I took Nintendo Wii and wis you know, Wisdom, you know, like spelled correctly. It's not like I misspelled it. It's, it's intentional. It's Wii. W-I-I -I like Nintendo Wii. Nintendo Wii U. Uh, it's kind of designed to imply kind of a nod to Nintendo and at the same time like, hey, there's intelligent playthroughs here. It's not me raging at a game every time. Every once in a while, maybe, but uh, try to be educational and beneficial to you instead when possible. So, this thing is awesome, though. I wish I had the 3DS starter pack. It should be here tomorrow. But this essentially looks like a Koopa shell. And then this is a throwback, like, to the clown car, you know, like you see in uh, Super Mario World, which is still my favorite video game of all time. It's one of the big reasons I was drawn into this. And, uh, when it had pulled the trigger, but it's... It's pretty dadgum cool. Uh, I'm a huge fan. I will probably be using this relentlessly. Even if it sucks. If it's the slowest slowest thing you can do or it does the least damage in-game, I'll, I'll still be trucking right along with this thing because it's that cool. So, um, it, When he is supercharged, it kind of looks more like a SMB3 style warship. And then, you know, of course, that graduated into the galaxies and stuff. But uh, very, very excited about the dark clown car. Now, what is better than the Dark Clown car? Well, not much, but one of the things is this. This is Dark Bowser. This is probably the coolest thing I picked up today. Uh, I am a huge fan. I enjoy Bowser, uh, Waluigi. Hmm. Oh, that's right, that's right, okay. I'll cover that. I'd forgotten about that. This is Hammer Slam Bowser, but dark. And if you're a Nintendo fan, you probably know there's really a dark Bowser. And that is awesome. What I love here is that the uh, hammer, instead of being like nondescript or something, it actually, again, it looks like a cross between a Koopa shell and a spiny shell. Apparently, Bowser can summon Koopas, which is sweet. Uh, that, again, takes me right back to Super Mario World 1991. It was a great time. The detail on Bowser is amazing. Uh, the paint is great. He wears the colors very well, in my opinion. He's got his knee pads. He's got his classic kind of like coming to dominate everything and take over the world pose, which he does quite well, probably better than most villains in gaming history. Uh, he's got the traditional Bowser face. That color scheme didn't change. Uh, the same orange hair. They didn't really change that, I don't think, but it flows really well in my opinion. Kind of like Stealth Elf's blue hair. Uh, something about the orange just flows nicely. You can see the hair versus the, you know, spiny slash Koopa shell there. Sort of red versus orange if you need to, but just looks amazing. He is fire element. Again, he's standing on top of an engine sort of mounted on the valve covers. And right here, this is cool. I've never actually gotten to hold one of these in hand. So fire element, as you can see, kind of flowing around. And it's like, man, why is that loose? Mine's broken. No. What this is, if we can get this to come in, right there you can read it. Skylanders. Now check this out. I can swivel it, and it's an amiibo. It's that simple. So it goes from like RFID to NFC. Uh, so really, really cool. If you want to use him in Mario Party 10, Put him in amiibo mode. If you want to use him in Mario Maker amiibo mode. If you want to utilize him for uh, Smash. There you go. So really, really cool. I am... Uh, it's hard to justify spending the money. But like I said, when I looked at it like I was doing the buy one, get one. Basically saving 40 bucks to pay 60 for it. If you put like, you know, 12 to $15 on each of these items... 24 to 30, 24 to 30, you know, 48 to 60, free Chaos Trophy, free game, free Portal of Power, free Battlecast cards. 
not a bad deal. I would venture to guess that the scalpers are probably going to throw Bowser and the Clown Cruiser each for around 60. I was discussing this with Daphne last night. She's thinking they'll probably try to get 100 out of each one. Uh, and if you're the person that has to have this and you're going to go out and try to do that, that's crazy. Don't do it. It is not worth that. Uh, do not pay $100 for just this. I would I would think of it, but then I couldn't bring myself to do it. But $100 cumulative, it's not too bad of a deal. Plus, I will actually attempt to play this game, record it, see what it's all about. I'm hoping it's fun and I can go through it single player and have a good time. And uh, if I can, it'll just be like another tag-along series. I'll obviously put the emphasis on like the Xbox One and the Wii U side, but this will sort of come in here and there and then be wrapped up. So... Uh, I do have that going forward as well, so uh, the bottom line, I am a big, and, and a lot of the people mad are PS3 and Xbox people. They're not really super into Nintendo, uh, and that's something important to note here. You can't play Bowser and Donkey Kong in the Xbox version or in the PlayStation version. They don't work. They're going to probably register, I don't know, the error you'll get or something along those lines, but... They're only going to be playable in the 3DS, Wii, and Wii U versions. Some people are irate about that. Some people could care less about Skylanders and want this for an amiibo. Uh, some people are sealed box completionist collectors, and they just want it in the box to sit there and look cool. I intend to use it, and I will use it both ways. So, um, This is something that I would consider keeping sealed in the box, but I kind of wanted to showcase it to you, explain it to you. And most importantly, I want to play as Bowser and the Dark Clown Car, so I am not afraid or ashamed to admit that. I consider that cool and a selling point of how awesome uh, myself or those of you like me are. So uh, that is that, though, $99.99. Once again, if you're looking for it and you cannot find it, it is only at Toys R Us. You can get the Wii starter pack anywhere, the Wii Dark Edition starter pack, TRU exclusive. That's where you'll have to go for it. I don't know stock. I was in the back room Friday night. They had, I think, six boxes, and there were four starter packs per box, if I'm thinking. I could be off. I don't know, but roughly 24. Uh, when I went in this morning, they were there. I grabbed them, got out, and uh, I'm extremely happy. So uh, this this is just a super cool setup, and uh, you know maybe I'm a sucker for it, but hey, uh, this is something I truly enjoy. And it's just going to be cool to have these guys sitting around, uh, in all honesty, let alone getting to play as Bowser and Donkey Kong in Skylanders. It kind of takes two of my favorite things, mixes it up, throws in racing, uh, which cars are my other big hobby outside of games. <laughs> and uh, It's kind of like the perfect storm for me. So some of you may fall into a different boat, but for me, this is just... It's pretty dadgum cool. So uh, hopefully that kind of answers some questions for you. Again, if you want to see this ASAP or something, let me know. I'll try to crank some out. I might do it tonight. I don't know. Uh, get, you know, like a part one or something going through on the game. Uh, we'll assume that my Wii still turns on. I've been using the Wii U for several years now. So uh, not long ago, I guess maybe like last fall, I plugged in uh, SSA for a little bit. It might have been this year. I, I took the Elite Terrafin through some heroics, and I was just checking that, testing it out. So it hadn't been too long. It should be good. But uh, that said, I'm super excited, and if you've got questions, I'll do my best to answer them. If you picked this up, let me know why. Was it just for Dark Bowser? Are you a hardcore Skylander person? Are you only into Amiibo or Nintendo collectibles and could care less about the game? Uh, are you going to pick it up, and are you going to play the snot out of it? Uh, are you just, you know, picking it up solely for these guys? Uh, whatever your logic is, let me know. If you enjoy those types of conversations, I encourage you to check out the Skylander Club forum at skylanderclub.com. I built it for you to enjoy, so check it out. Um, see if you like it, and if you do, I encourage you to sign up. But I'll quit rambling here. I'm about to lose my voice. Looks like the Seahawks and Packers are about to kick off, too. Uh, need to, I guess, crank out supper as well, but uh, going to be a long night, but it will be a fun night, and this to me is, like I said, right here, uh, Dark Bowser and the Dark uh, Clown Cruiser. Uh, that is by far my favorite thing that was acquired today, so uh, seeing them out of the packaging, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm trying not to totally dork out on you, but so I'll go have some fun with that, and uh, I will catch you back here for more Skylander Superchargers news.